My channel my name is Val and this is Sticky Mess 17 my channel is all about cleaning information inspiration motivation so if you're interested please like and subscribe turn on those notification bells so that you're notified every Wednesday and Sunday at 10 a.m when I upload a new video also I'm a brain injury survivor which is why I look like this it's all swollen it is coming down thank goodness but not quick enough for my liking but it is part of my recovery so if you're interested in brain injury and basically my journey that is linked in the description box I have a whole playlist on what has been going on um in today's video oh, my lounge oh my goodness um i'll be honest the month i was in hospital and the last eight nine weeks that i've been out of hospital i have completely neglected my lounge um the floor's been cleaned but that's pretty much it so the toys have just been thrown around and put in boxes where they don't belong and things. So today I'm going to be sorting them out, getting my living room clean and tidy because it is absolutely making my mind go bananas. So if you're interested, please keep watching and I will. My shout out today is a two male stripper. He is one of my one of my very first subscribers. So thank you so much to Mail Stripper for subscribing and leaving comments on my videos. Guys, if you want to support my channel, you can buy me a coffee. My Ko-Fi details are linked down below. Um, you can also join me on Patreon, where generally my videos are up a day or two before they go onto YouTube. And there's some extra content that will be coming when I get better. I just haven't got the confidence at the moment. Um, or you can just like, subscribe and watch another video. So guys, thank you so much for joining me and let's jump straight into it. That marshmallow pillow I've just thrown onto the single chair there. Oh, it's so annoying. It's so big, but oh my goodness, it is so comfortable. And nine times out of ten, when I've got that on the sofa with me, I fall asleep with it. It is just so comfy and so squishy. I got it from Costco. I think it was about £49. Well, um, sorry, Santa got it. Um, but it is really, really comfortable. You can get smaller versions, which are only about the size of your mobile phone. But yeah, they're so cute. Now, the first thing I've done in my lounge today living room catch-all room playroom everything room is pick up off the table because we've had breakfast so I'm going to put everything just in the kitchen I'll sort it out later clear up anything that doesn't belong in the room and then I'm going to give everything a good dust because oh my god it's disgusting I hate dust under the television that is one of my pet hates and fingerprints on the screen and dust on the screen I absolutely hate that so the first thing I'm doing is just using my a cloth with just water the cloth is really damp um it's not dripping or anything and then my um polishing cloth just to dry the screen and it leaves it streak free same on my fireplace and it is really dusty down there and unfortunately because I'm not strong enough I can't actually bend down to clean so it, that's the best I can bend you know I can't really go onto my knees and things so it does make cleaning very awkward but I am able to reach thank god for my 10 years of dancing touch my toes and clean the base of the fireplace and also the We've had the contractor in to finish our doors. They look amazing. Um, and I've just got to put a box on top of the tracks. Um, but yeah, it's made a huge difference on space in my house and accessibility. But obviously he's been outside. So sanding and cutting wood and everything. So everything in my lounge is dusty because he decided he came on one of the hottest days of the year. So all my windows were open and it was disgusting. Now every time I leave the lounge it's just to rinse the cloth out because as I say everything is just so dusty and I don't like spreading dust. So yeah and I'm going to wipe down my daughter's toys and put them away. I've got a pink bin that was at the beginning of the video but you'll see it in a minute which I'm just using to throw all the toys that she's got grown and I'm going to donate them or hand them down 
and just make some space for Santa. But as you can see, I'm still waddling. <music> where the Dyson is standing we used to have a unit there but obviously that's been handed over as well um, because we're going to be changing our wall unit at some point just not in the immediate future so her toy box is going to now go in that corner but I don't know whether to get a clear toy box whether that's going to make it because they're really cheap in Tesco at the moment if you've got a club car they're £3.75 I think for an 80 litre box um, I do use them for her teddies so I've just replaced um, her teddy box but I don't know whether it's just going to make the room look tatty mind you the wall units have glass on them so I don't think it really makes that much difference and as long as there's extra storage or should I get an ottoman again but if I get an ottoman it's going to be quite expensive and then how long is it going to last before you know we change out the furniture in our lounge so I'm a bit torn at the moment I might just get a clear box put it in the corner the Dyson's going into the utility room all the cables on the floor the wheelchair footrests are going into my car with the wheelchair um, I prefer to use the wheelchair without the footrests I just find them a bit in the way so yeah um let me know in the comments, do you think we should get like an ottoman toy box? Should I stick with a pink one or should I get a clear plastic box and just stick it in the corner? It's as I say, 80 litres, so it's going to be bigger than what I've got there. More space for more stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I wonder if any one of my subscribers or anybody watching the video has noticed anything different in my living room. Predominantly sort of in that corner that I'm looking at and well actually the whole living room. Yep, that was the last thing I did before um, I came off the steroids and I don't think there's going to be any more of that for a while because I just haven't got the energy. So do let me know if you've spotted it. Oh, how I wish every time I say this when I do my daughter's doll's house, I could just pull everything at my house, wipe it down and put everything tidy back. There is so many toys in this doll's house that don't belong in the doll's house. So I'm going to reset it for her, sort out what needs to be put away, thrown away, broken, donated and so that you have a nice fresh doll's house she's really getting into playing with a doll's house and a kitchen now it is so lovely to see her imagination just growing and blossoming oh i love it and she's like playing with the teddies and telling them oh it's all right you know i'm here it's time for bed or whatever it's just so lovely watching my daughter um and her imagination just growing oh and it's crazy to also think that some of the things she's doing like sliding in the bath is stuff that i used to do when i was a kid yep and I actually told her off for doing something the other day, something silly. And when I stood back, I thought, oh my gosh, I used to do the exact same thing. Oh, so anyway, it's just lovely seeing my daughter grow up.
I'll give you a slight hint now on what is different with the lounge. Now that is obviously Sally, my robot vacuum, and I've got the little handheld vacuum that I absolutely loved. Everything is linked in the description box uh, and on my website. So if you can't find anything, do let me know. wondering what that crowd applause in for was uh, just a bit of a joke because I'm really struggling to get stand up when I've been on the floor and I use whatever's near me to help me pull myself up because I just have not got the strength of my legs so I managed to get up there as you saw I did pull myself up but I got up two weeks ago while I was on the steroids there was still no ways I was able to get up off the floor and I had to have either a um, I've got the perch in the kitchen or I had to be actually off the floor or somebody had to pull me up. So now I'm getting so much stronger. Oh my gosh, I can actually, with difficulty, but I can do it now, pull myself up. You kiss me in a way that gets me high. this is my robot vacuum sally this is obviously sped up um she sweeps she mops she is linked in my description box and i tell you what especially not having the strength to use my dyson especially up the stairs but obviously sally can't go up the stairs um i tell you what having her has just been such a godsend because like i was in pretty much bedridden for the first eight weeks whilst i was on the steroids coming out of hospital when I came out of hospital so having her just running around the house and cleaning the house and just maintaining the floors because I hate bits under my feet not that I was moving much but just keeping the house just basically clean because it's amazing just keeping the floors clean what a difference that makes it has been such a blessing her and Sammy my robot mower have been real blessings whilst I've been sick um, and I do not regret the purchase whatsoever. Sally, as I said, mops and sweeps. Obviously, she can do both at the same time, but I prefer to run her over the floor with just the sweeping attachment or the vacuuming attachment, and then I put the tank on the end. But the only downside, I suppose, is that she can't go on to charge when she is on the, um, got the water tank on her, but otherwise, brilliant. So, guys, take care, and I'll see you in the next one. Stay safe. And look after yourselves and each other. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye.